MD or Prabhudas Leeladhar and they're joining in from the dealing room over there. Mangla? That's right, Reema. I'm here where all the action takes place in the dealing room with a clickety click of all the keyboards punching in the orders with the Nifty breached 7,700 for a brief period. So with me is the joint MD, Mr. Dilip Bhatt. Uh, can you give me a sense where uh, yesterday we saw a big sell figure from the FIs, which was also matched by a fairly big buy figure from the domestic investors. So is there any redemption pressure that you're facing from the mutual funds sitting here in the dealing room? What's the sense that you're making? Well, it's a bit too early for, uh, for us to talk about the mutual fund redemption at the moment because I think uh, over the last couple of months, we have seen the confidence of the retail investors really gradually building up in a serious way. But these kind of events do rattle the confidence of the investors and certainly uh, you will find some doubts coming in the minds of the investors eventually. But of course, at the moment, the inflows continue to be pretty strong and their buying uh, continues to be uh, pretty aggressive. So do you expect this uh, route that we're seeing in the markets to be a good time for value picking as far as retail and institutional investors are concerned or is it a falling line? Uh, well, I think these kind of events we have seen in the la uh, every year it happens a couple of times and the entire market gets routed very badly. I think uh, certainly if you look at India specific, the way the potential is for India, certainly there is not much downward scope from these levels. Certainly there is a, a bottom over there. But when the events really happen, it's a question of the confidence and that is where the, uh, the slipping of the index happens. But surely I think for the long term investors, we still feel that this would be the time when they can really think about doing fishing and uh, getting into some very good fundamentally strong stocks. All right, a good time to get into fundamental stocks. But today, uh, there was a bit of a pause in the morning, but every rally or every move upwards has been sold into. What is the sense that you're getting sitting here in the dealing room? Is it the FIs who are selling? Is it the domestic investors who are selling? Is it the retail guys who are trying to get into it? Or is it the institutional guys who are, again, looking at bottom picking, as you said? So I must say, all of that, what you say is happening in, in their own bits and parts. For the retail investors, I think particularly the small investors who must have really spread themselves. For them, it's a uh, margin call which is coming or they have to fund it. So that is where the vulnerability comes. I think as far as the uh, institutional investors are uh, concerned, they are acting in both the ways, buying as well as selling at the moment. But overall, I think uh, the sense that we are getting is the way the markets are moving, it's a question of crisis of confidence which is emerging which we feel is kind of an aberration and that this is a transient kind of a phase. All right, a transient kind of a phase. So when do you see this transient phase to maybe go fall by the wayside? Well, it's something like this, that at the moment there are international events over which nobody has a hold, much less that people are trying to understand that uh, as to what exactly is happening. Certainly market is trying to tell us something uh, more important that something decisive is happening in the world and which is making uh, people nervous. But as for, and if one were to compare it and put it in uh, perspective the Indian context, then it looks a lot more better that India doesn't have much scope for it to go down. All right, so before we leave you uh, to click away on your uh, trading screen, could you give me a sense of where the bottom of this market would be? Well, it's, it's not an easy question to answer looking at the crisis of confidence which I just mentioned. But as what I was mentioning somewhere uh, even yesterday, that couple of hundred points from the current level, if it goes down on the Nifty, it's not impossible to imagine because these are the times when uh, the panic takes over the logic and nothing else really matters. So in this panic, it's very difficult to rationalize some of the things. So a couple of hundred points down on the Nifty, yes, very much uh, can happen. But that also I would uh, think is an event to buy. All right, uh, that's the word coming in from the dealing room. A couple of hundred points on the downside for the Nifty considering the panic in the global markets right now. But that would be a good time to buy is what the joint MD of Prabhu Das Leeladhar says.